Hey guys, it's me. Long time no talk. It's been a while since I've recorded a vlog, but it's because I've been like kind of busy just chilling with my friends and catching up and like hanging out and all that. But I'm back now and I'm sporting my Giants gear. So the orange headband, the Giants t shirt. Um, Mr. Zito on my back, number 75. I pitched yesterday. And it's my blanket right here too. Um, uh, Zito pitched yesterday. He pitched a really good game, but we did lose by one to the Rockies. We're going up again tonight, I think at seven. So fingers crossed, keeping the tweets, you know, on my phone, keeping updated and all that, despite being out and whatnot. Um, so what I've been up to lately is um, I have like goals for the everyday. So. Yeah, you can't this is stupid. <laughs> um, my lamp. Mm. Okay, yeah, I don't know how. Okay, there. Um, yeah, okay, that's awkward. Okay, it says every weekday, work out, watch a movie, and do fetch. Because um, my goals for the weekday, or like when I have time, is actually to. Whoa, light adjustment. Um, to work out every day. So I'm doing this thing called Shaleen Extreme. Um, it's like a, kind of like P90X but for like girls and um, I'm doing that. I'm also watching a movie because I got Netflix and also um, doing French because I got Rosetta Stone for French so every day I do a lesson and my parents are having a burst in the room right now. Hi mom! <laughs> um, yeah, hold on. Alrighty then! So that was a little interruption about my mom. Um, yeah, just asking questions and things and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so work out, watch me in your French. Today I already worked out. Um, I'm probably gonna do my French later with um, Angela, my best friend who's probably gonna get here soon so we can go to. She like is still in school and she studies, and so I like just do my thing, you know. I'll probably do my Rosetta Stone then, and then I have to watch a movie. And tonight I have Coco before Chanel, so I'm gonna be watching that. It's exciting. Um, speaking to Angela, we went shopping the other day, we went to Melrose. It was like so great being back because we drove through like a bunch of like just like LA ass neighborhoods, and it was like super nice. And I went to Mark Jacobs and I got this bag. So, um, yeah, it's cute canvas coat. Very summery, very like light, unlike anything I think I currently have. But um, it was a disaster because like I sprayed it with this, which is like single like, often champs. It's like an ultra protector and it's good for like shoes. Um, I sprayed it on my vans before. I might wear these today actually with self fit. Um, and my high tops, like, it, like, protects canvas, and I would suggest you do, because, like, I mean, you spend, like, 45 bucks in a pair of shoes, might as well, like, try to make them last longer, and this is, like, $8. And it's also leaking, like, disgustingly, so, you know, go me. I don't even know what I did to it, but there you go. Just everything I touch, like, this shit. Anyway, um, let's see. Um, currently I'm reading, I don't know if I told you guys, I'm reading, um, this. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by John Methan Seth Grand Fellow. I don't know. Um, yeah, but it's like going really well. It's really interesting. It's about like this like nine-year-old genius. He's like an inventor and then his dad like dies 9-11 and like he goes on this like search to find um, a door or like a lock that this key that he found that his dad owned belongs to. I don't know, it's really complicated, but it's like really good. I mean that. And I got the suggestion off of, um, I was on Tumblr and like Love Your Chaos, who I like follow religiously because like she posts amazing things, um, suggested the book. And, I don't know, I mean, if it's that good, you know what I mean? I just thought I should read it, and so that's what I've been doing. And, um, let's see. Um, I have two, like, DIY projects that I'm attempting. Let me go grab the Epsom salt. This, my friends, is Epsom salt, and it was a very, it was a trial to get, like, this. Because, like, I only need, like, a teaspoon or two. Hold on a second. to make this, which is Bumble and Bumble's Surf Spray. This cost 23 bucks. I got an SF as a birthday gift to myself, and I'm like really bad at knowing where the camera is, which is retarded because I think, anyway. Um, this is Bumble and Bumble's Surf Spray, which I use like on my bangs, and it has like a matte texture-ish thing, and it makes like, um, you know how your bangs are always the first thing to get like oily? So I use this to prevent like oil from building up, and it's actually made from like, no, he's sleeping. Um, it's actually made from like, let's see, I don't know, I looked up the ingredients and like someone did a DIY for it and it's actually just Epsom salt, um, hairspray and water. So I'm going to try to recreate that and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Save yourself 25 bucks because I got this at the Dollar Tree. So yeah. And you can already see like the salt that's kind of built up, camera there, like the salt that's built up around it. So I mean it is like salt and I guess like that makes sense because like when you go to the beach 
get like that texture in your hair and that's what people die for but yeah that's what i'm doing i'm also doing um i'm planning to get like a bunch of old american apparel like i don't wear like shirts like this the ring neck or whatever um and i'm pl planning to cut them up into tank tops and then like do a tie-dye with them but instead like dip it into bleach instead of tie-dye and so it'd make it like kind of burn out and stuff like that because i don't wear the shirts anyway and they just sit around so i'll let you guys know how that goes and i am gonna head out because i don't want this vlog to be too long because you guys will lose your attention because my attention to that itself is like terrible so assuming the whole world is like me but anyway i'm gonna head out um i'll update you guys again soon and that's all bye we in recession, but let me take a crack at it. I probably take whatever's left and just split it up. So everybody that I love can have a couple bucks. And not a single tummy around me. Would never